Joe and I have been at the labs together and we've heard each other talk about editing and um, there's one thing he said um, in one of his presentations that, that's always stuck with me, that you like to begin films with a scene. When you look at rushes, okay, which is to me the long and arduous process, um, and I get bored very easily, so I like to go to what I have emotionally responded to. And a lot of times I like to um, just go to the first thing I'm, I'm excited about and not even thinking I'm cutting this as it's going to be in the film, but just to try to ex experiment with it. And usually, almost entirely, it's going to be something visual. I'm never going to go to an interview thing or a content thing, per se. I do this more and more now in every film, where uh, I make little films out of the film. Like when I was working with Lynn Ramsey, I used to make her little, it was like giving her little poems, and I would just make her little films. And sometimes that stuff would, end up in the film. We would come up with something and would be in the film, but sometimes it's just for fun. And then I would just kind of go, you know, okay, that, that's this scene, and then it, maybe it goes here and start to have an architectural sense. How do you like to start? I am sort of liberated from the process of watching rushes because I do my own shooting. Yeah. So I've already like gone through and like in a sense flagged everything. And do you find that when you go, then you start looking at, you know, actually editing, that it's different than how you perceived it? Generally, the instincts are good. I mean, it, it happened yeah. mostly like when I was working in the, the film about Iraq, where I wasn't, I didn't actually understand the language. So, but, yeah. so even then, I was like, okay, that's the moment. Like this one, there's like such an emotional subtext happening yeah. that it was that my instincts generally in the field carry over. Yes, because I remember in my country, in my country, being astounded that you shot these amazing scenes. Particularly, I remember the one with the kidnapping telephone call, mm -hmm. and you didn't know what was being said. And to me, that's a classic example of, like, like you say, just you felt it. You knew, you knew, you, you were always on the right thing, you know, the right person, the right moment. Because that's what film is. It's not necessarily about what was being said. It's like you got a sense of what was happening. You had an emotional sense of it, and you, you did that. So with you, like when you, when you start a project, what's the, what do you like most want, and what do you want from a director mostly that will help you sort of navigate the material? Like what are the things that really help you, and what are the things that get in the way? I hate being handed 100 hours of footage and just been, <laughs> go for it. It's all in there, man. <laughs> So I feel like, well, wait a minute, you're the director, okay, you, you, you know, I want you to tell me what is the heart of this film. Uh, show me that first. Even if I decide I don't think it is that, but I want to know what the director thought it was. What's the essence of this thing? To me, like the essential collaboration that I'm sure that every film I make will be the, in the editing room. You know, that it's this, that it's a real creative collaboration. This is work I don't want to do alone. The structure is the scary stuff for me as a okay. filmmaker. Like I, feel, like, I feel pretty confident in my shooting instincts and f characters and like knowing like where it's gonna go, but like actually how it's gonna get there. Yeah. Having somebody who kind of brings that, is, who, or, and is also pushing me to, to think about those questions about, about yeah. structure. I remember meeting at the labs, I did not really know your work. I gave a, a presentation talking about my work with Herzog and this whole idea about um, the ultimate truth, or what is it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the, Ecstatic, the deeper the truth act. kind of thing and, you know, fictionalizing yeah. documentary. And as soon as the lights came up, there was one hand up. <laughs> and it was like, <laughs> wait a minute, I don't understand. And so that's what immediately knew, okay, I like this, this person. I like yeah. people who disagree and, like, and want to ask questions. And so it was a great, we got off to a great start, didn't we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we totally did. We totally did.